Okay, welcome back. We are having somewhat of a relaxed record session because I have moved from the desk to the armchair, as you can see, different surroundings. Um, so yeah, let's get ahead with it. Um, in our last video, we got to the stage where uh, we've created a, a level complete substate. So if I jump and collect one star, it will say level complete and this substate was created in the last video. Um, I've made a few changes or one change to make it so that if I collide with just um, one collectible as opposed to two, it, it hits the substate. Also in the last video, I asked you to create another level inside tiled, which is the level we're going to change to um, once you hit the space bar here. So I've already created that level. I've called it level two, as you can see. So please make sure you have one. Um, if not, so you can continue and then create it later. But let's go ahead with the course. So now what we're going to do, this here, place date, we're going to rename to level 1. This will be our um, level 1. And we're going to, of course, rename that here. Uh, and also, um, we are going to, inside the main, let's make it go to level 1 as opposed to play state. So that's done. Now we're going to create level 2, which our new level will go to. And let's grab everything in here, put it inside there. And of course, the only thing that will change is what is going on over here. Over here. So that'll be 2. Awesome. So in our level complete, model, we're going to create some code here to make it so that when, when the player presses the space bar on the substate, something will happen. Um, so it looks G keys, um, just pressed space. I don't know why there's no IntelliSense coming up, but hopefully this will work. Do we have an FLXG? No, we don't. Okay. Okay. So for some reason, my IntelliSense wasn't working. And as you know, I can't code without it. So I just had to reload this window and everything came back. Um, if that ever happens to you, you're going to hit shift command P on the keyboard to bring up this menu and just search for reload and then hit this one and it reloads the whole of VS code. Now that's working. Let's put a trace in here to say level, uh, so next level. So when they, when they press the space bar, it will take them to the next, the next level. And it will close this kind of um, this this blue box. So this this close method will do that. So if we hit save, um, it will build the game. And let's actually get the console in place so we can see what is going on when we do hit that spacebar. Um, okay, so console that should be built by now. And let's do a hard refresh. Collect the star, hit space, and nothing happens. Looks like this recording is full of mistakes. Um, okay, so what I forgot to do was to override the um, update method. Uh, that needs to have elapsed to get the um, time per second of the game. Um, and run the updates with the elapsed inside it. So now what we can do is to grab all this code over here, put that inside here, and hopefully that should work. Let me check if I've done that correctly. Override public function update. Yeah, that looks good. So now, not now because it's still building the game. So now once it's finished, when we do go into Chrome, hit a hard refresh and then try again. There we go. So it goes to the next level, which is what it's meant to do. So there are two ways, which two things we can do to get to the next level. And the first thing we can do is have a kind of absolute path or absolute kind of ways to get there. Um, and that of course has comes from FLXG, um, and it's called switch switch state, I think. 
There we go, switch states. And what we'll do is we'll do a new level one. Yeah. So this is it. Um, actually, I've just realized that I'm already on level one, so make it level two. So basically, once um, the player has finished level one, which is this one, when they hit space, it should take them to level two and then close the uh, close the substate. Let's test that now. Do a hard refresh. Collect one star. Get the substate, hit space, and bam. We're on level two, just like that. So that is a simple way of kind of linking two levels together. Um, we've got the level set component um, and we've got the, sorry, level set class and we've got level one, um, which now this, this links it to level two. But this isn't really sustainable for, for a game with more than two levels. So we want to have 10, 20 levels. We kind of want to reuse this over and over again to, to go to our next level whenever we want. So we are going to change this a bit. But before we change it, we're going to have to change this file. No, actually, this file. So let us create a variable called next level. And this is going to be a class of type um, level state. I think, no, actually, we want this um, inside here. Yes, I think we want this inside here. OK, so let me explain. What we're going to do is here, no, actually, let's, let's put that back here, we need it back here. <laughs> What we're going to do is when we call a, a class which is level, um, we're going to tell the level state what level we want to go to next when we complete it. So in this case, we want to go to level two. And we're going to pass a, a class down as an attribute inside a, a, inside a method. So this next level will be passed down into here. So you know, we're, we're signing this here. Now this has got the class. We're going to pass this next level class down into the level complete, wherever that is. Complete here, so we'll pass that down. And we do actually need this here as well. Um, so we're going to have this. We're going to have an underscore here, just um, to kind of distinguish between the names. And what this uh, constructor, so now, so now we passed an argument into here. We can get this argument. We'll call it next level. Next level, and that will be a type class of level state. So let me explain what this is for a second. Um, so we're going to be typing, we're going to be passing in classes like this, and the commonality between level one and level two is the level state. If we were only passing in one class, um, it, would, it would be class of, of level one, but because both of these level one and level two have similarities, and similarities are both level state, um, it will be class of level state if that makes sense. So we've got class of level state inside here. So this here, this has been passed here. This picks it up and we're going to assign it to this up here. So we're going to have that equal that. So now that um, we have an outside, whoops, long way around. Okay, so now that we have uh, an outside variable uh, inside this whole closure that can have access to do this, we are going to, um, we're going to change this to, um, instead of having a, a, a finite class, we're going to have a type create instance. Is that how you spell it? There we go. Create instance of the next level that's typed into here. So this is going to create an instance of the class that's passed in. And here we can add some arguments. We don't need any arguments in these classes, I don't think. Um, so we'll leave it like that for now. Let me just double check I've got everything I need. Um, so we've got the class arguments, yep. Yeah. As an, as an array dynamic, perfect. So this is going to um, instantiate the class that's passed into here. So let's save all our files with option command S and let that build the game. And fingers crossed it will work. Go back into the game, hard refresh, and restart another one. Collect one star, gets us to level two. And of course, if we wanted to, we could go into level two 
and um, do next level, and have that level three. We currently don't have that, so it's a bit of a, uh, yeah, a bit of a wasted line. But if you did have that, then you can go ahead and do it in there. Okay, so that's it. In the next video, we're gonna add some some code to kind of wrap up the level section. We're gonna add some code to to make sure that if we don't have level mentioned, say in level two here, we can still display something, and the player can still like it won't crash the game. So what we're gonna do is reset the game. So go back to level one. So say congratulations, you completed the whole game. Hit the space bar to take you back to the beginning. Because um, right now, if we're on level two, and we finish the game, which I'm not gonna do, um, because I only need to collect one star. But if we finish this level with space, nothing happens. We get an error. So let's fix that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.